my channel uh, and welcome to the new video in my series of uh, all the clothes I have basically I have started this process somewhere around one year ago and I was not documenting all of it but I was kind of trying to be more mindful of everything that I own because um, as I spoke about in my previous videos on my wardrobe so in the one where I was flipping the wardrobe for winter um, I kind of had to acquire quite a lot of new clothes lately because uh, my body have changed a little bit, uh, my lifestyle have changed a little bit because I started working from the office. So after some time when I needed to acquire new things and bring new things into my space, it kind of started feeling a little bit overwhelming. So until that point I was living out of one suitcase basically. I had about one suitcase worth of clothes, meaning winter, summer, I don't know, pajamas, work out everything and after I uh, after a while when I started acquiring new pieces it started to feel very overwhelming I was uh, kind of really not I'm not used to having this much clothes anymore because this life uh, out of suitcase it was not few months it was not even few years it was since 2013 I believe since I moved to Thailand it was very interesting feeling a little bit overwhelming I don't know how many times I'm going to say this word, but bear with me. But also very necessary because uh, my lifestyle changed. I decided that I really want to bring all of these pieces into my life because I want to dress in a different way. I want to change my dressing style a little bit. I want to adapt more to my day-to-day -day surroundings and I want to look more presentable most of the times. Uh, I will link the video where I was speaking about this a little bit more uh, in the cards. So around last year I started looking into all of the clothes and all of the um, accessories that I was bringing into my life that I already had in my life and uh, I decided to do it by category. So I have a video about all of the shoes I own, I have a video about all the sweaters and knitwear that I own. Of course there is nothing about bragging in these videos, it's just for me to kind of have clearer vision on every of everything that I own and I thought that it might be also interesting for some of you so I decided to make videos on this topic uh, for example when I was making video about all of the shoes that I own I have way too many sport shoes and I'm not really uh, a person who wears sport shoes or sport wear all of the time so now after I made that video and after I really reevaluate all the shoes that I own and my lifestyle <clears throat> that needs to be supported by these uh, shoe options, let's say. Every time when my brain starts telling me, oh, maybe I need new pair of white sneakers, I can confidently reply, like, no, you have white sneakers, you also have gray ones and you have pink ones, and you don't need any more. Now, as the colder season is finished, we are transferring into spring and summer, uh, I decided that I need to reevaluate all of the outerwear that they own, and um, I'm not going to be donating anything in this point because I know that uh, I already had a look through everything that I owned and I know that uh, some of like about two pieces I can technically part my ways with but I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to be make a definitive decision on them uh, next season but for now it's something to consider I already know that those two pieces are kind of a question mark for me as far as I can see from my list uh, I counted all of the pieces of outerwear that I own and I think I have about 10 pieces. I think it's way too much. Uh, but at the same time, I also think that if I have enough wear out of all of them, it's not a problem. So if I have 10 coats and I wear all of them, it's not a big problem right now for me at this stage of my life when I'm living in one place and I don't need to move anywhere. But let's take it one step at a time. First piece that I own is this uh, navy parka. Uh, it has a hood, it's very warm, it's very nice. Uh, I have it for a few years now. And this year it survived even me lying in snow. I will insert a picture somewhere. Um, definitely going to keep it. It's my only piece of like really warm outerwear because where I live, winter doesn't get super cold, like no minus uh, temperatures, no, nothing drastic like that. But it gets quite cold for a few days, maybe for a few weeks. So this is when I need my trusty barca. And then I have this uh, gray coat that you probably already saw if you saw my Uniqlo review video. Uh, same here, it's great basic for my uh, wardrobe, I'm going to definitely keep it, I'm going to wear it for many many years and it's the most expensive piece in my wardrobe I think. Then I have another trusty basic, uh, something that I wear all the time and something that is like a great staple in my wardrobe is this beige coat. 
um, beige camel or something. I really like it because it's uh, this camel color is not, it doesn't have yellow undertone that is kind of not really working with my skin. I know that it's very popular and many people are wearing it and everyone looks amazing in it. Every time I try to wear the, the classic camel color, I just look sick in my opinion. So when I found this one, I was very, very happy. It's from Sisley. It was also quite expensive because it has very nice um, fabric content. It's uh, wool and cashmere. I have it for, I think, three years at least. And I'm going to keep it until it will absolutely fall apart because it's a beautiful coat. It's amazing. It looks great with everything and it still looks great after three years. So definitely keep. The next coat, I'm not going to lie to you, it was kind of an impulse purchase. Um, I bought it this year in Malaga and I'm pretty sure I still haven't posted my Malaga vlog, uh, which shows how bad I am with my content planning, but anyways. Um, this is the coat I'm speaking about, it's from Mango and it's kind of a little bit trend driven, but it's something that I can see myself wear for many years. It has this, um, how do you call them, tassels. On the bottom, it has two big, two big pockets. I bought it in Malaga, as I said, on a discount in Mango. And it costed me, if I'm not mistaken, around 30 euros, so 29 something. And it was an absolute steal for the quality that it is, because it has a very high wool content, so it's very, very warm and very light at the same time. And even though it's, it's kind of a more fun piece because of this uh, tassel things and uh, big pockets, I feel like this is something that I can wear for many years. When I'm wearing like black jeans and black turtleneck and I wear this coat, I feel like I'm a lamb box. So definitely going to keep it because it's newer and I really like it. So I kind of have uh, three more basic pieces that are kind of really uh, pulling their weight through the years. And then I have kind of also three more fun pieces. So this uh, gray, second gray coat was one of them. The other one is this uh, blue coat from the brand called Elizabeth Ascot. I bought it in Lady Nascente last year on big discount. Uh, Lady Nascente is this um, kind of department stores, department store chain in Italy. And they normally have very expensive but very good quality things. Uh, I picked it up last year and it's kind of like, again, one of these very fun pieces. Can I live without it? Of course. It's not something that uh, is going to stay with me for many years, but it's very good quality. Again, it's very high percentage of wool. It's very warm and it looks very nice with, uh, you would never think about it because it's so classic, but it looks very nice with jeans and white sneakers. So this is how I normally wear it. Definitely, if I'm going to move somewhere in the nearest future and I will need to ship all of my things or carry all of my things with me, definitely it's going to be the one that I'm not going to keep because it's more of a fun coat. But for now, as I'm not moving anywhere in the nearest future, I'm going to still keep it because I really like it. I look at it in the camera and it looks amazing and it's really fun. Excuse me for the noise, I have this coat. Uh, I just brought it, uh, like, just before the quarantine was imposed on all of us. I brought it from um, the dry cleaner, so this is how it stayed. I haven't worn it since I brought it. Uh, this one is from Asus many, many years ago. I believe, like, at least eight years. I think even more. Um, it also has 70% of wool. It's this checkered cocoon coat. And it's also one of those fun pieces. And this is the one that I... Um, this year I was really considering letting it go just because I have it for so long and I think that because it's so bold and so, I don't know, so overwhelming sometimes, I wear it, I used to wear it quite a lot. This year I wore it I think maybe twice. So I think that when the new season will come, I think I will, I might say goodbye to this one. Uh, and it's nice that it's already all cleaned and nice and it can make someone else very happy. It will also make my boyfriend very happy because he hates this coat. He always tells me that it looks like a blanket. Should I keep it? This is it with the heavier pieces. All of them are going into storage until next year. And I hope I will manage to film a uh, flipping my wardrobe video this year again. Uh, so they all are going into the suitcase until next year because now it's way too warm. I'm not going to wear a coat for next, I don't even know, seven months. The next piece is more of a spring piece and uh, more of also kind of like the utility pieces in my wardrobe. It's this uh, waterproof jacket. It's a very hard working piece in my wardrobe because it's waterproof, windproof, it's made very nicely and really doesn't let any, like not even one drop of water in. So um, yeah, now it's actually started raining, so this is the season for it, for sure. The next piece is something that is also coming out of hibernation, like that one. 
it's my jean jacket with all of my uh, pins on it I have a video about it again I will link it somewhere if I will not forget big staple in my wardrobe I think in many other people's wardrobes as well because jean jacket is something that is very nice to wear and it goes so well with so many things then I have my faux leather jacket with rolled up sleeves I bought it last year I think in Motivi Motivi is uh, I don't even know I think it's Spanish brand but I'm not sure don't quote me on that uh, it's very good quality so I took it out also very recently and I really enjoy wearing it while getting groceries because this is the only social activity that I get right now but anyways for sure I'm going to keep it I love it it's very convenient it's a big staple for me and the last outerwear piece that I will be able to show you right now is this uh, trench coat I have it for uh, also about four years I think three or four years I definitely used to live in my uh, not even my previous apartment but the one before that when I bought it I ordered it also from ASUS and I really love it because it's not double breasted double breasted things don't really look that well on me in my opinion again maybe I will change my mind in the future but for now I don't feel like they're doing me any justice and this trench is amazing that's why I was actually hunting it for a very long time it has this uh, amazing detail of um, buttons on the sides the only thing i don't like about it is that i need to dry clean it all the time and i hope you cannot see it but over here it's kind of a little bit dirty from the bag that i'm carrying to work the last piece that i cannot show you right now is in the suitcase i will insert some picture of me wearing it it's kind of a summer utility jacket slash parka it's this uh, khaki color utility jacket basically with the hood now that i think about it, i also have a very light trench there uh, which is like this baby blue color but i already kind of made up my mind that i'm going to donate it and if nothing if my mind will not drastically change when i will put it on now when i'm going to be flipping my wardrobe i think i'm going to donate it for sure i bought it two years ago and i wore it once and I don't think that something that I get so little wear out of, so little use out of, needs to stay in my wardrobe and take up space. This is it. This is all the outerwear that I own. I really like doing this process in the beginning and in the end of the season because it really makes me evaluate not only what I like for the new season, but also what I didn't get enough wear out of in the season that passed. I hope this video was useful and interesting for you. And if you're interested in my content, please click the subscribe button down below. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Ciao.